Hello and welcome to Mile High Reefers. I'm Scott Anderson, and as you've probably noticed, I haven't been putting a lot of videos out lately. And that's just because in the spring and summer, I am extremely busy with other projects. And this is one of my other projects. This has been about four years of hard labor. This all used to be grass and rock. And it was kind of your standard, normal front yard. And to tell you the truth, that just bores the hell out of me. So I ripped it all out and put gardens in. So the small garden beds are all wet gardens for my wife. My wife loves wet gardens. And it works pretty good. Because in northern Colorado, we tend not to get a lot of rain. Um, this is actually probably the wettest year on record for Colorado, at least the wettest spring. We got as much rain in May as Colorado normally gets in a full year. So it's pretty cool. But the wet gardens are a little easier to get flowers that are blooming kind of mid-spring. Early spring, we have hundreds of bulbs, and you can kind of see the leftover daffodils and tulips that are still there, but there are is probably five, six hundred bulbs in this garden early in the spring. And I also have a large xeric garden. And this garden I've designed so it actually doesn't need any water. It does get watered about once a week, but if I don't water it, it'll be fine. Now the only thing about this garden is you'll see that it probably looks pretty good. You should see it in about another month. In about another month, I'll have three, four times as many flowers as we're looking at now. The other cool thing is the amount of life that this draws in. If you've ever walked around in a a grass yard you'll see a few insects and stuff but that's about it this pulls in a tremendous number of birds it also brings in a lot of insects but the insects it brings in are usually the really cool beneficial insects the pollinators the butterflies the honeybees and a large number of native bees and as I'm sure we've all heard those are suffering right now so to have them all in this garden is fantastic. The other really cool thing is, in the middle of August or so, we have a couple of resident hummingbirds that migrate in. And they've done this for about the last three years now. And for Greeley, Colorado, we're far enough away from the mountains that it's pretty unusual to have hummingbirds just hang out at your house. But my garden, draws them in and they stay here so it's really cool it's something a little different and it kind of shows that if you set your yard up for an environment that's conducive to life it will come and it'll show up and I've seen bird species out here that are just I just never saw before this garden was in so I think it's fantastic I mentioned a little earlier about watering and everything's either on a soaker hose or drip irrigation. And it's all hooked up to a sprinkler timer. And that's all timed to be as water efficient as possible. And it's also on a remote, which I think is really cool. It makes it easy to work on. I've also got a lot of flagstone. And you'll notice it looks kind of ugly right now. There's a lot of weeds. And that's just because it's been so wet lately that I haven't wanted to spray weed killer now granted the most eco-friendly thing I can do is get out of here by hand and pull all those weeds but let's face it I got enough weeds to pull the way it is but I try to be very eco-friendly and design conscious when I design this garden and I think it really came out well so I thought I'd show one of my summer hobbies to y'all and I'll see you on the next episode of Mile High Reefers. Thanks for watching. If you like these garden videos, put comments in. 
the comments section and I'll put more out.